to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I just want to say happy, happy new year to all of you and thank you so much for coming back and watching my channel. I know this year is going to be an awesome year. We just have to speak it with our lips that this is going to be an amazing year, that 2016 is going to be bomb, okay? You just have to speak it with your mouth that God is going to do it for you. Won't he do it? He will do it for you, okay? So we just have to say it. 2016 is going to be awesome. 2016 is going to be great. Say it with me. Like seriously, say it with me. 2016 is going to be the best year year of our lives and you have to claim it in the name of Jesus and we're gonna do that today so I am just blessed and so happy that you guys are back at my channel for 2016 you're gonna have some amazing videos for me this year and I'm going to kick start it with my favorites from last year December so let's jump right in to these favorites. so I'm not sure if I want to start with makeup or lifestyle stuff but I'll probably start with makeup because let's face it that's what we're all here for so the first thing I want to share with you is kind of new it's not too new it came out I think in the beginning portion of December and I snatched one up because I was always interested in the brand it's by Burt Bees and this is his lipstick line or I don't even know if it's a guy <laughs> but Burt Bees well Burt Anyway, Burt Bees has some new lipsticks out and these are amazing. The one I have is called Russet River. The number on it, if you're interested, is number 532. And this is just a dark burgundy type of maroonish color. I'm wearing it now. It's like a wine color too, if you think about it. But it is just an amazing, amazing lipstick, you guys. This thing is so moisturizing and so long lasting that I am just, it's really comfortable on the lips. And I wasn't expecting it to be so long lasting, but it blew me out of the water. It blew my mind and it made me really want to try some other Burt Breeze products. They are natural products, so that's always good. I love the honeycomb design that's on the outside of here. It's beautiful, beautiful packaging. And the product itself is really good. I'm wearing it now and my lips just love it. So yeah, if you're in the market for a new moisturizing lipstick, especially during this winter season, you guys have to check out the Burpees line. They have a ton of other colors, so do check those out. So the ending of 2015 in December really saw some new products come out, but I jumped in the bandwagon really, really early, so that's why I had to share them for December favorites because as soon as I snatched them up, I basically was using them the whole entire time. So this next product is from Maybelline, and this is a new mascara from them. This is the Fall push up drama mascara and I am in love I am in love with this like I've heard some people say other things about it that it's clumpy or whatever but um not me so everybody has different experiences but this has been so awesome to my lashes it lifts them it gives me volume um, the bristles on it are like little cups so it like separates them I have an entire blog post on this um, I will be doing a video review for you guys because I know some of you guys like to see the actual mascara going on and stuff so I'll be doing that but I'm in love with this mascara and the packaging you guys can't we talk about the packaging the packaging is really really cute loving the colors it's really bright really bold it makes you want to pull it out of your makeup drawer and use it but my especially my lower lashes my lower lashes loves this mascara it's a really nice mascara and you guys totally have to pick it up and you totally 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 have to try it so i was always someone who took a long time to jump on bandwagons and this bandwagon is no different anastasia of beverly hills like my first product from them was the brow wiz and I was a little bit meh about it. I didn't love it to death. It was a nice brow pencil that did the job, right? And then she came up with a ton of these palettes. Okay, stop, long story. Long story short, I decided to pick up the self-made palette and I fell in love and I don't regret it one bit. You guys already know what this looks like. It looks like this. And if you can probably tell, it's been dug into, it's been used and I love it so much. My favorite colors out of here have to be pink champagne, where is it? Hot chocolate, buttery, blossom, Isla or Isla, and treasure. I'm wearing treasure in my inner corner today. I'm wearing blossom on my lid, you guys. If you don't get any other palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, get this one. Even though all of the eyeshadows are sold separately in, you know, whatever little pan, I prefer to get the palette because it's a great way to try it and that's how I got onto the eyeshadows for her. I said I'll try the palette and the eyeshadows are really, really buttery, really smooth. They don't flake up, they don't disappear during the day. They are really, really nice and this palette is everything. That purple, I legit tried that purple once. 
and I was like I have to use this really really slow because I don't want to run through it I don't want to be that chick with an entire palette and then that one color missing because I use that one so much so while we're on that purple let's go ahead and swatch it shall we can we talk can we talk about how amazing I'm losing all my fingers listen this palette is amazing for brown eyes especially you're gonna totally 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 love this and the next palette that I fell in love with is from Makeup Forever and it's their 15 artist eyeshadow palette I love this I love this so much go to Sephora right now buy it looks like this look at all those colors they go on so smooth you guys I love this okay my favorite sections because the palette itself is designed like they give you a booklet in the in the packaging itself is designed to be used in a certain way but you can do whatever you want but when I actually tried the different looks that they suggested in terms of how to set this up and how to set it up on your eyes beautiful you guys especially this section oh, love it and then my favorite sections here 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 even though I love purple and you guys know I love purple I was sticking to these two sections here and then this section here especially for this blue okay can we talk about it can we talk about it can we talk about these colors that are in this makeup Evan palette so it's a 15 artist shadow palette you need it beautiful packaging very decent packaging this thing is heavy but the colors are in here are even heavier you guys so while we're still on the face I do have a couple of other things to share with you <laughs> another Anastasia product yeah I know right this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills so Hollywood Illuminator you guys like I said the palette did it for me like <clears throat> excuse me like the palette drew me in like even though I my first product was the brow wiz the palette drew me in to really want to try a ton more of the Anastasia Beverly Hills line and the second thing I got was this illuminator you guys yes yes there are two more I believe of the illuminators but so Hollywood really stood out to me and it's doing an amazing job I did get the brush to go with it I'm still trying that out I kind of love it but bam mm. okay do, do you do you see that do you like my face loves it. It doesn't disappear during the day. It stays amazingly beautiful and it's just the most gorgeous highlight in life. I have it on the tip of my nose and my nose looks snatched, okay? So yeah, if you're looking for a new highlighter or illuminator for your face, do give the Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminators a try. So because December was a month of the holidays and parties and stuff, none of which Alex attended sadly but I was doing the lashes thing okay and I fell in love with two lashes these are the Ardell 203s they're the double up versions of these and they are beautiful they're really light and fluffy lashes they don't get in the way and they actually do the job of just va va booming your eyes and the second lash that I fell in love with is from House of Lashes this was my first purchase from them and I do not do not regret it. I'm wearing them now. The ones that I have been totally in love with have to be the ones called Smoky Muse. I'm wearing them now. These are just gorgeous. They're like, they bring out the natural sexy in the eyes, if that makes sense. Like, they just make your makeup look, look so much better, you guys. I have them on now, like I said, and they just give me a really sultry, like the name says, Smoky Muse. And they're really easy to apply. They're not like hanging over your eyes or anything like that. They're comfortable to wear. And I am just in love with these lashes from House of Lashes. So if you're in the market for some new lashes, I do suggest the House of Lashes Smoky Muse Lash if you want like a more bold look. And if you're looking for something that's bold and flirty, I would say go with the Ardell number 203s in the Double Up line. Let's move on to some body care items that I have really, really been enjoying in the month of December. So I fell in love with this fragrance mist from Victoria's Secret. This one is called Rich Amber and I adore the package. It smells so good. Oh my goodness. It's just, it's a warm scent and you get all of the amber coming through. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent. Um, they do have a rollerball in this as well. And I picked this up in store. I have not seen it online that I 
that I know of. I've seen the rollerball online, but I have not seen the big spray itself online. So do go to your local Victoria's Secret. Plus they're having the um the semi-annual sales. So do go ahead and see if you can pick this up. Love the packaging. It's like a lace overlay with some roses. It's beautiful, but the scent itself is a warm amber. And that smells really, really good. It's perfect for the winter season, so do snatch this one up. Again, it's called Rich Amber, and it's a Victoria's Secret fragrance mist. Another skincare item that I have fallen in love with is, I think this is a new scent from Bath & Body Works. This is the Winterberry Wonder, and I have the Ultra Shea Body Cream. This is the 24-hour moisture cream. Now, I prefer the Ultra Shea Body Creams over the lotions at Bath & Body Works because I feel like these ones last longer, but this one is just just beautiful. The notes in here are red winterberry, ruby apple, sparkling cranberry, snow kiss camellia or camilla, and crystal vanilla. This smells amazing. It's winter time, so I am still loving everything winter. The packaging is just beautiful. There are cranberries that are frozen, and it's just some frost over it. It's some snowflakes. It's just really, really beautiful, you guys. And that's what really drew me in. But the smell is just, oh, it's so good and it's very, very moisturizing. I think this is the perfect scent for the winter season. So if you do have a bath and body works near you, oh my goodness, it smells so good. Go ahead and grab the Winterberry Wonder. So speaking of bath and body works, there's a candle that I love, and it's probably been out during the semi-annual sale and before that during the autumn season. I've been burning this slow because I love it so much, but if you can find it, I know you're gonna love it too. This is the Pumpkin Coconut Candle from Bath and Body Works. You guys, if you, didn't, if you didn't snatch it up, then you totally need to go and find it. This smells amazing. It smells like shaved coconuts with a hint of pumpkin. It smells like this base, like basically the pumpkin bread or whatever this is that's on here, this bundt cake. That's exactly what this smells like. It smells amazing. It throws so, so well. I'll read you the notes on here. It says, enjoy a full treat with a touch of the tropics in a blend of toasted coconut, Spiced pumpkin puree and a dash of vanilla. No vanilla scent here. It's totally coconut and it's totally pumpkin and you totally, totally need it. If you can find it, grab it, snatch it up now. You, you love this. Even though it's winter season, I just love bakery scents. So yeah, I'm, I'm a cookie junkie. If you are too, then give this video a thumbs up. But yeah, I totally, totally love this candle. Again, it's called the Pumpkin Coconut Candle from Bath & Body Works. So because it's winter time and it's really, really dry, my combination skin is doing the most, okay? So I have been using a sample of this product, but I'm totally gonna get a, well, the regular size. This is by Tarte, this is their Maracuja oil. So what I do with this is at night, I would just take about three to four drops of this and rub it in my hands and then I press it into my skin and my skin feels so good in the morning time. My skin feels soft, my skin looks brighter in the morning like it just feels so much better i have had a lot less acne as well like the the ones that i get under my skin on my cheeks they've been basically non-existent but i just love it for the fact of what it does for me in the nighttime it really moisturizes my skin really helps me to replenish my skin because the next morning i look really really refreshed and my skin looks brand new so i'm totally gonna get another bottle of the tarte maracuja oil for my hair in December, I straightened it for the last two weeks in December. Um, if you follow me on my blog channel, I'm gonna post a link here. My great grandmother passed away, and so I wanted to, you know, look nice, look more, you know, grown up and polished. So I went ahead and had my hair silk pressed, and I really, really enjoy my hair that way. But I did miss my curls. Okay. And <laughs> because I missed my curls, I needed to moisturize the hair while it's straight, but I didn't want to put anything on it because I knew once any moisture hit it that it was going to go back to the curly state. So what I did was I got this weightless B5 oil mist from Organics. You guys know I love Organics products. And this thing basically saved my hair life. It's basically moisture and vitamins in a spray bottle. And my hair loves this. It's not heavy at all. It did not revert my hair. And my hair lasted for two weeks two weeks in a straightened state and I had to wash my hair to get it back to what it is now but yeah it's basically B5 in a bottle and what it says is that 
It speeds moisture to stressed out locks and rebuilds damaged lipids to improve the ability to retain moisture. And so it adds strength and elasticity to the hair as well because of the vitamin itself. But yeah, I love this oil. If you're suffering from dry hair or if your hair is straight for the winter season, I do suggest getting some of this weightless oil moist B5 from Organics because it's really going to help your hair to retain moisture without reverting back into its curly state. So while my hair was in its curly state during the winter time in December and a little bit before that, I was using this leave-in from Cream of Nature. This is the Argan Buttermilk Leave-In Hair Milk. This is the Cream of Nature with Argan Oil line and my hair loves this. I love it because it basically instantly moisturizes my hair. My hair feels really light when I put this on. It feels moisturized. I like to put this on immediately after I take out my deep conditioner just to lock that moisture in and my hair just really, really enjoys it. It really quenches my hair. My hair doesn't look thirsty for the rest of the day when it's dried, like, you know, fully dried and stuff. So if you're looking for a new leave-in, I do suggest the Cream of Nature with Argan Oil Butter Milk Leave-In Hair Milk for your hair. Okay, you guys, so that is it for my Alex Adores for the month of December. Well, for last year. Do let me know down in the comment section, as always, if you love any of the stuff that I talked about. Let me know also what are your New Year's resolutions for this year? What are the things that you think you really, really, really need to get done this year? And, you know, speak life into those situations that you want to, you know, better into your life. Okay, you guys, I'm here for you. I love you so much. And I thank you so much for watching me today. Again, do go ahead and click that subscribe button if you haven't already and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye guys.